Hi everyone, this is a video showing my top 16 minifigures in my collection right now. I have these, I got just got a couple of these new, oh, I don't know how new they are, they're new to me, um, minifigure display cases. These are the smaller ones, having eight slots each. And so it's a total of my top 16 minifigures. They're really cool. They stack on each other. And say Lego on the studs on top. And they they don't like snap, but they do interlock. And on the front there is the Lego Lego right there. And the front of these. And on the back they're equipped with spots to hang. So that is really convenient for you. And they do open with push button release. Okay, so on to my top 16 minifigures. I'll start with this side. And up here, oops, we've got Davy Jones. And each slot has a 4x6 um, stand. So there's Davy Jones. Tentacle Beard. From Pirates of the Caribbean, he came with Black Pearl. Uh, Claw, I just think he's really cool. That Tentacle Beard. Um, highly detailed minifigure, and I like it in my top 16. Here we have Darth Vader. And... I really like this minifigure and I would like it displayed in my top 16 in this in my new display sh uh, shelves. Here's an old Harry Potter and he's from Harry and the Hungarian Horntail set. This is his golden egg. This is the golden egg and it's magnetic. His clothing is got rips and tears and he's got the Hogwarts um, the Hogwarts crest there and on the back he says Potter and you see a star and some more rips one of my favorite most favorite Harry Potter figures that I do own and I'm happy to have it here is Sensei Wu and he is one of my favorite minifigures. Excellent um, back backside printing. So that's Sensei Wu. Down here is my oldest Harry Potter in my collection. He's from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone era. He's yellow flesh. Got the yellow flesh, a um, little bit different face, and everything, clothing, and the purple cape. Next is a uh, Hermione from that same era, Sorcerer Stone, and she is also yellow flushed. Here we have Brick Daddy, and I think he's just a really awesome minifigure. I've considered him to be one of my favorites ever since I laid eyes on him. He's got an awesome purple suit, and purple hat, and the glowing head. Let's look at his head. And chain and everything, and he's from the, he's a villain from Lego Space Police. His, yeah, he's from Space Police, and his name is Brick Daddy. And this is SpongeBob, superhero SpongeBob, which is a very cool SpongeBob in superhero attire. Cape. He's got a blue mask and tights. Blue glove. 
I'm a fan of Spongebob and I think that um, figure right there looks great in my display case so this completes my first eight minifigures and you just lift this up press the button and it closes right up so on to my next minifigures we have this guy right here from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom he has this really awesome helmet it looks just like the one in the movie Here he is, a very cool minifigure. It's one of the um, most detailed and accurate looking minifigures in my opinion that I have that's from a movie. And here is Patrick in his superhero wear. And this is humorous and great to have displayed in a collection. Also, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones is one of my favorite uh, movie series. So I'm happy to have some of his Lego sets and I'm happy to display this minifigure in my top 16 and have them out for people to see. Next is the red droid. I think this is R3PO. I may get names wrong in this. I can't remember his name. Very cool, bright red minifigure. I also thought to include a king in my top, and he's very nice. He has lavish clothing on, a nice shiny gold crown, and sword with a nice red cape. A royal minifigure. Here I have a Sith. These are um, very attention getting minifigures. Even if you don't like Lego, in my family they like the way these look. Highly detailed, evil looking. Here's the other one, and this is Darth Maul. And these are my two Siths, and this is a oops, completely golden minifigure from the Lego Atlantis uh, theme, which. This either comes from like one of the comes from uh, I can't remember the name. It's like ruins of Atlantis. It comes with that crab guy. Anyway, it's completely gold. Shiny as if there's a flake or glitter in the plastic. Almost, it's really a nice minifigure and stood out to me as a special one in my collection. Nice armor. Uh, Lego Atlantis was a great theme, in my opinion, and um, sad to see it go, I guess, but ready for new things right now but I do have this in memory of the Lego Atlantis theme and it's a great golden uh, god minifigure 
Oh, so that completes the 16 minifigures that I have displayed in these. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing my top 16 uh, minifigure collection. And these aren't in any particular order. If they are grouped together, it is just purely by coincidence. Um, Merry Christmas and please subscribe. Bye.